Welcome back to It's a Vase Productions. This is the first episode of Film Aesthetics, where I will be briefly breaking down and discussing some of the film techniques used in popular cinema. By no means will I be discussing every aesthetic technique in every film. But as more episodes come out and more movies are discussed, eventually you will start to pick up on the many different techniques used in filmmaking. To begin, what are film aesthetics? To put it as basically as possible, it is the way the subject of a film is shown in order to move the audience. This covers everything from color to camera angles to depth and more. It is how the filmmakers make the audience feel the emotions they do when watching a film. So let's get right into it and talk about the aesthetics in Transformers. Right off the bat, I know many people complain, it's just Michael Bay, shaky cam and explosions, which is a complaint I understand. Michael Bay, like some directors, certainly has his own style. And his style tends to be explosions, America, who cares as long as it looks cool? But also, we are talking about a movie with giant fighting robots, so I'm just saying we left nuance behind a while ago. When Transformers was released in 2007, it was at the forefront of CGI technology. Each individual Transformer had hundreds of moving parts. Computer-generated characters were generally made by putting a human actor in motion capture suits and then building the character from what was captured. Transformers actually had the animators design the characters first, since humans can't actually transform. And you know there's going to be a lot of transforming in a movie called Transformers. It's what they do. Several techniques were used in order to more fully bring these characters to life. One such element is actually the shaky cam. Shaky cam footage is most notably used, and some would say overused, in found footage movies. These are movies where one of the characters in the movie is holding the camera and to make it more realistic, the footage is constantly interrupted and jarring. Transformers is not a found footage movie. In Transformers, the shaky cam effect is used to help show the immense scale of the Transformers themselves. When they jump or punch, it literally shakes the screen. This helps add a sense of weight to their movements to indicate that they are shaking the ground every time they move. Another important technique used to great effect in Transformers are the use of differing camera angles. A character can come off as being very weak or very powerful just by changing the camera angle. Think of how a cat looks down at a mouse. From the cat's perspective, the mouse is below it and small and weak. From the mouse's perspective, the cat is large and powerful and above it. Consider this scene from Oliver Twist. As Oliver approaches to ask for more food, he is shown at a downward angle, making him come off as small and weak. Meanwhile, the nun and soup captain are shown from his point of view at an upward angle, making them large and powerful compared to him. Transformers takes this technique to its extreme in order to show just how massive the Transformers are. Extremely low camera angles are used for looking up at them from the eyes of the main character, and extremely high angles looking down for when the robots are looking down at humans. This is just one of the many ways that camera placement can affect the shot and story composition. The extreme angles combined with close-up shots help double down on the feeling of fear and danger when the main character is trapped. Okay, that's it for this episode. Join me next time when I talk about color theory used in the Transformers movies. Again, color theory is a part of the aesthetics of film, but I want to give it more time, and it's my show, so I'll do what I want. After that, I will be moving on to the aesthetics and color theory in the movie Logan. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Leave a comment letting me know what you liked, what you didn't like, or what you want to see next. 
Links to merchandise are in the description. Confuse your neighbors and annoy your coworkers by assisting that everything is a vase. See you next time.